So I found this at a garage sale for one dollar. Called Rebound and it is still sealed in the package. Um, now I did a quick uh, search online and uh, you can find these on eBay for between five to fifteen dollars. So I think by breaking that seal I'm not doing uh, <laughs> irreparable damage. It's not something that would be on Antique Roadshow and I'm out a million bucks. But it looked interesting, so let's see what it is. Oh. All right, all right. Oh wow, that is a much smaller ball than I thought from the picture. I would, looked about three times that big. Um, okay, uh, there's no assembly required. This actually looks really cool. So here we go. You've got the, the knob here. And then, yeah, that actually looks much cooler than I would have thought. Put the ball there, shoot it up here, much like ski ball, except you're shooting it instead of throwing it. So yeah, let's let's try it a little bit. I guess we'll we'll do one like this, and then I'll I'll change and we'll do an overhead. But yeah, I I like the construction. It has kind of a cool look to it. Just put that there. Nope, too much. All right, that was, uh, it looked like it went in the 40 slot, and it comes back to you. You can get it out. So let's look real quick. Step one, place the board on a flat surface. How to play. Place the ball in the shooter lane, pull back the handle, launch the ball at the ramp, see which hole it goes in. Uh, each hole is worth a different amount of points. The higher the points, uh, higher up the hole, the higher the points. See if you can get it through the 50 point one. In game, if playing solo, then aim to beat your own personal best. If completing with others, or competing with others, then the highest score wins. It does not mention like a turn limit or anything. Uh, yeah. So it is from Wooden Workshop Games. And again, I, I do really like the construction of it. It just looks, it looks really neat. I'm, this was one dollar well spent. This is definitely a dollar well spent. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a bit. I'll move the camera somewhere to a better spot, and then uh, we'll we'll play a few rounds. All right, let's play around. Um, let's just do two fifty. All right, twenty. Oh, too much. Okay. Hey, <laughs> a 50. All right, so I got a 20 plus 50, so we're at 70. I, I didn't think I'd get a 50. All right, so at 70. Oh, another zero. Another zero. Okay, a little, little less uh, mustard on these. 20, all right, so we're at 70, now we're at 90. 110, getting there. Hey, a 30, so we're at 110, so now we're at 140. Getting them out is kind of hard. So 140 plus zero. Oh, that was sad. Oh. All right, 150. 170. I, I like it. It's, 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 I don't know. It's quaint. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. It's quaint. So we, what did I say? 170. Ooh, another zero. All right, another 20. Now we're at 190. 10. So we're at 200. What did I say? 250. We got 50 to go. Can I get a 50? Nope, I can't. So now we're at uh, 210. Oh, 20, it's better than a 10. So now we're at 230, 240. Now I could go with a 10. And there's a 10, all right, 250. So yeah, um, all in all, that was a dollar well spent. Uh, I noticed on the bottom here, it actually says the original price would have been $15. Uh, oops. Oh, hey, look at that. So this just fell out. 
It's the backboard. That would have made a substantial difference in all those zeros. But yeah, I didn't notice that in the picture. Oh well. I really do like how it looks. Like the overall look and feel of it reminds me very much of something that, uh, you know, someone's, someone's grandpa would have made. It would be in your basement when you go visit it. Definitely would highly recommend if you can get yourself uh, a copy of Rebound from Wooden Workshop. I would, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's a fun, fun little thing. But yeah, let's see if I can get a 50 to close this out. And a 10.